It's issues like referee assaults and others that are driving many officials to just call it quits now. While an estimated 45 million kids played organized sports, a lack of officials may possibly stunt the growth of participation. So CBS 21's Michael Gorsinger is digging into this trend and maybe some new ways to fix it. Kids add play, it's music to the sports lover's ear. And while the rate of participants remains steady in the U.S., the number of officials is plummeting. A lot of tournaments, a lot of leagues and things like that are struggling just to be able to find uh, enough referees to be able to do the game. It's been rampant across, across all leagues, all all clubs in the area. As a director of coaching for Cumberland County Soccer Club Eagle FC and a former college coach, Brian Redding has seen the numbers decline sharply. This past spring, the governing body of soccer in this area, Eastern Pennsylvania Youth Soccer Association, or EPYSA, estimating they were 800 referees short. We need the numbers, um, and any way we can do that is, is a positive thing. To answer the bell, Eagle FC getting a Grow the Game grant from EPYSA to put on this class. 20 young officials learning the rules and mechanics of soccer officiating for free. It gives them a safe environment to, to, to learn. Once they pass the test, their first field experience will be at the club's recreational level with kids 6 to 9 years old. It's an environment where the kids are learning to have a referee and the referee is learning to manage the, the environment in the game. When I'm not reporting for CBS 21 News, one of my passions is soccer. Over the past 30 plus years, I have played and officiated on fields all across the country. Over the years, I've refereed thousands of games at the youth level wearing the patch of the United States soccer. At the high school level, donning the stripes of the PIAA, running fields all across York and Adams counties. And most recently, refereeing in some of the biggest college conferences in all the country. But quite frankly, there's simply not enough of me, and the trend is now alarming. Would I enjoy going to a field every Saturday to get yelled at? Probably not. <laughs> Before the pandemic, the PIAA notating an alarming departure of officials. Out of 13 sports statewide, only one saw an increase in officials from 2018 to 2020, and that was track and field. In that same two-year block, the total number of officials dropped nearly 9%. There's so much pressure on the kids, but then that spills over onto the sidelines, and the coaches aren't being good to the refs. The parents aren't being good to the refs. A recent survey of exiting officials done by Paradigm Sports finds abuse, poor sportsmanship, and fear of safety are the top three reasons officials will end their careers. Oftentimes the parents may be uneducated as to what is happening in the game, which can also cause issues. And that's why after running these kids through the officials class, Andrew Otterson and his Eagle FC staff put the new referees on the field with a mentor and the players that are learning the game. <laughs> It's a less stressful environment where standards of conduct are set immediately. Just giving kids an opportunity to do something like this and opening doors for them, I think will open up opportunities for us to grow the referees. And in the end, everyone wins. In Mechanicsburg, Michael Gorsegner, CBS 21 News.